G'day everyone. My old E34 has an issue with the fuel gauge. When it gets to about 20 litres left, the fuel gauge will fluctuate between going from empty to about 20 litres and it won't tell me how much fuel I have. This has led me to run out of fuel on one occasion. So today we're going to try and um, fix this issue by pulling out and cleaning the fuel level sensor in the fuel tank. Let's go have a look at what we'll need to do the job. In terms of tools, this is a really simple job. You'll need three screwdrivers. The first is just a standard Phillips head screwdriver. You'll need a small flathead screwdriver. And finally, you'll need a large flathead screwdriver. You'll see why in a minute. Additionally, you'll need some sort of electronic parts cleaner, or in my case, some isopropyl alcohol, because I'm cheap. You'll also need some paper towel and a clean rag. Finally, you'll need some electrical tape just to keep your fuel lines together and from getting mixed up. And that's it. Let's get to it. Start by popping your boot and then cleaning it out and removing all the carpet that's inside. This will give us access to the cover plate which covers the fuel sender assembly. Before removing the cover plate, give everything a quick clean. This will limit the amount of dust and dirt that will fall into the fuel tank once we open it up. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, go ahead and remove the five screws that hold the cover plate on. The cover plate pries up easily and there's a soft gasket that sits underneath, so make sure not to lose it. This is the top of the fuel sender. The first thing we should do is use a vacuum cleaner or a rag and get in there and clean out any dust and dirt that you can. Next, disconnect the wiring harness using a flathead screwdriver. Use the same screwdriver to undo the hose clamps that hold on the fuel return and feed lines to the fuel sender. It's important that these fuel lines don't get confused or switched. So I'm using this electrical tape to hold them together and also to prevent them from falling underneath the car. This long strip of tape prevents them from falling away. Using the large screwdriver on the end of the fuel lines prevents any damage from occurring. There'll be some leftover pressure in the feed line, so make sure you cover your eyes and have a rag handy to clean up any spills. Next, it's time to remove this plastic nut which holds down the fuel sender. Using the big flathead screwdriver and knocking on these little tabs works pretty easily. Older or different model BMWs might use a set of 10mm nuts instead of this plastic cap, but it's pretty much the same process. Next, simply pry up on the housing and it should start to come loose. Gently but firmly start pulling the unit out of the fuel tank. The fuel lines leading to the unit are really sturdy and you can use these to help pull it out. Okay, so this is the fuel level sensor. Um, it pops straight out with this rubber ring here. Uh, which acts as a seal. Now, once you've got it out, there are lines attached here, which run down to the pump. We can leave these attached, hopefully. Inside here is a float, which goes up and down. We'll have a better look at this in a second once we remove this tube. So to remove this tube, we're gonna push in these two tabs here. There's one on either side. Ooh, and there we go. So it's all self-contained within this tube here, which means we'll have to pull it apart as well. Okay, to get this apart, I've got a very small screwdriver and I pushed on this end in here, and it's, it's started to pop apart. This will have to come off first. Okay. And there it is. Be very careful of these fine wires, because if they break, your sensor will not work at all. Okay, so, how does this work? These two pieces of wire, you see on this side here and on the underside there, hard to make out. They're very fragile, and they're resistance wire. And so this float here slides up and down, completing the circuit between the two wires. And then the resistance across this circuit is used to figure out how much fuel is in the tank. If I clean off these wires very carefully, then I may be able to fix my fuel issue. 
Here's a better shot of the three wires that are on the sensor. The two thin wires are the resistance wires, and the third one's just a normal wire, which is used for the low fuel level warning. Okay, to clean the wires, I'm gonna use some isopropyl alcohol and some paper towel. Be very careful and wipe down the thin wires and also all the contact services. You can see here these lines on the paper towel that we are getting muck off of these wires. With the wires now clean, it's time to reassemble everything. Carefully reinsert the cylinder over the wire, clip the wire into place, and then insert the cylinder back into the housing. Insert the fuel cylinder back into the fuel tank. It's easiest if you put the rubber seal into the hole first, and then push the cylinder down over it. Insert the plastic retaining nut over the fuel cylinder, screw it in by hand, and then tighten it by using the screwdriver and tapping around in a clockwise motion. Remove the electrical tape, and then reinsert the fuel lines. Do up each of the hose clamps using the screwdriver. Reinsert the wiring harness and make sure it's properly connected. Before we go ahead and put the cover back on, the final step is to go start the car and then make sure that nothing leaks. And also make sure that your fuel gauge is working. Don't freak out if your car doesn't start straight away. The fuel pump will take a bit of time to repressurize. And everything's still working. What a beautiful noise. With everything working, the last step is to put the cover back on and then put everything back in your boot. And that's it. That's how to fix a faulty fuel gauge on a BMW E34. Good luck, I hope this video helped, and thanks for watching. Please fucking work. Yes!